Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss about image steganography. Okay, so here one A will be there in between G and N. I forgot to do, forgot to write that. You just uh, take proper spelling as S-T-E-G-A-N-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. Okay, so what is that? If you have studied any communication engineering course, then you know the fundamental principle of uh, communication system is based on modulation technique that is transmitting our message signal to a longer distance. So what we do for that, we take our low frequency message signal and we take one high frequency carrier signal. Then we change at least one property that may be frequency of the carrier, that may be phase of the carrier or that may be amplitude of the carrier according to amplitude of the message signal. And we this is called modulation and after deceiving that carrier signal in the receiver end, we demodulate the carrier and get back our message signal. Similar to that kind is this concept, image steganography. What it does, we have one message signal, we have one carrier signal. Suppose message signal having some confidential information. So what we do, we hide the message signal in an image. Okay, that image is my carrier signal. And uh, if some people try to hack our system, he or she will be looking at only the carrier image. He or she cannot observe the secret message present inside the carrier image. Okay. And in the demodulation part, what we do, we try to extract our original message that is confidential information from the carrier image. Okay. So obviously two images at least require one is carrier image, another one is secret message image. And the fundamental principle of the image steganography is based on the fact that LSB of the unsigned integer 8-bit representation in case of image carries minimum information and MSB carries maximum information. Okay, while I will be explaining the algorithm, you will understand how this we can use in the image steganography. This concept I have already discussed in bit plane slicing. If you have seen my bit plane slicing video, then you have seen that LSB of the image uh, from the LSB part only, we cannot understand what is the image, but MS, MSB plane was giving us one complete idea of our actual image, right? Although not uh, minute details were highlighted, only major details we could we were able to see using MSB plane. But still, LSB compared to LSB, MSB was carrying far more information. Okay, and this is mostly used for hiding the secret text or confidential text information, which we don't want to show publicly. Okay, so see the concept is nothing but suppose I don't want to show my secret message to other, so we hide our secret message inside carrier image okay and if, if some people are hack our system they will be able to see only the carrier image okay there is some dummy image whatever we can take so this is the definition of image steganography that is it is a technique of hiding image carrying information that is message image in some carrier image okay to increase the security of our system so what is the algorithm see in simple word replace the carrier image LSB with the MSB of message signal and the LSB substitution method is also another name of the image steganography. Okay, so what is that? See, MSB carries maximum information, most important bit, right? So, max, uh, most significant bit we say. So, what we do, we take the MSB of the message signal and in the carrier signal 8-bit representation, we replace the LSP of the carrier with the MSP of my message signal. So as a result, as we are replacing the LSP of the carrier, so our actual carrier image will not distort much, but as we are putting our MSP of the message signal, so that is having the information of our message signal also, because message signal most important bit we are putting in the carrier image. So as a result, our carrier image will also not disturb by a high amount, but it will contain our message signal information also. Okay, that is the simple idea. So suppose you want to uh, understand the same algorithm in pixel domain, consider one pixel. Suppose I am having one carrier pixel as 10110101 and corresponding to that, my message signal having the pixel which has 8-bit representation as 10110011. Okay, I have taken randomly. Now what we do, we need to remove the LSB part of the carrier and that we will substitute by the MSB of the message signal. That is our secret image. Okay, 
So what we do to remove the LSB bead, we will basically perform AND operation with 254, okay? Because AND with 1 will have same bead, but AND with 0 will have 0 only. So we don't want the LSB of the carrier, so we want to remove. So we will place there 0 and rest all bead we want as it is, so we will place there 1s, okay? And if you take the binary representation of 1111, 1110, you will be having 254. In simple word, you can un understand all 81 means 255. So here, we, if we don't want this, so we are placing here 0 and this is corresponding to uh, value 1. So you subtract 1 from 255, you will be having 254, right? Now you perform bitwise AND operation and you will be having this one, okay? That is all these bits will be remaining as it is. Just this AND operation will result into 0. Now, in the message signal, what do we want? We want to extract only the MSB. So what we will do, we will take 1 in the MSB in our AND operation and rest all as 0. Because this bits we don't want. So we will be having this output, right? Now, if you check the binary representation, this is nothing but 128 corresponding value. Okay, because this is 1, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16, this is 32, this is 64 and this is 128. Now, this bit we will put in the carrier LSB part. That is simply we can add this particular bit with our this particular AND output in the carrier signal. Okay. Now, this bit we cannot directly add because this is at the MSB, right? Actually, this is the whole number. So, what we want? We want only this bit. So, what we will do? We will divide by 128. Okay. Try to understand. If we uh, divide by 128, what will happen? This particular bit will be coming to the rightmost side. That is, that will become LSB. Okay? Simple binary operation, you can clearly understand. Just try with some example, you can feel this idea. Okay? That is, suppose this is 0. So, after dividing by 128, you will be having 0 here. If it is 1, after dividing by 128, you will be having 1 here. Right? Now, what we are doing? After dividing, we got our bit. So, what we will do? We will add this one with our this AND must carrier. Okay. Simple perform addition operation. And then after addition, we will be having this one. Okay. See, we have added nothing but simple addition, binary addition. 0 and 1 is 1 and rest parts will be as it is because this all are 0. So, this is new value of our carrier pixel. And this we will transmit. So, as a result, if people will see he or she will be observing only the carrier because this is, we are changing only LSB of the carrier which will not part, uh, have any significant value. But with respect to message, it is having very important value because we are replacing by MSB of the message, okay, which is carrying most information. Now, suppose in the receiver we receive this, what we will do? We know that our requirement is only the least significant bit of our carrier signal because the, their message information is stored. So, we will perform AND operation with, the, with this mask where only 1 is present in the LSB, rest all part as 0, right? So, we will be having this particular value. Now, we know this value we are getting as LSB but actually in case of our message, this is MSB. So, what we will do? We will shift to max MSB bit that is 128th position. So, we will multiply with 128. That's all. And this is how we can do this particular cryptography or encryption decryption operation. Okay. Now, let us go to MATLAB. Same thing what I have discussed in uh, theoretical approach, same coding we will follow. CLC clear all closer warning of A equal to IM read test image dot PNG subplot 2 comma 2 comma 1 IM show A and this is our carrier image. Let me just run this particular part of my code and evaluate selection. I will be having this particular carrier image. Okay. Then, I will be reading one secret image also. I am read secret.jpg and this is my secret image. Let me show you that. Okay. So, this is my actually message signal and beautiful quote. Opportunity did not knock until I build a door. Okay. That is obviously we know this is correct also morally. Now, what we do? See, message signal may not have same size as of our carrier signal. So, what we will do? We will perform first resize operation. So, R, C, G equal to size of A, we are getting the size and X equal to I am resize X comma R comma C. That is, we are resizing our message signal same as our carrier signal, okay? Right? Then, 
we are extracting the red green and blue plane of our carrier signal and similarly we are extracting red green and blue plane of our message signal because we will performing this encryption operation for red plane for green plane for blue plane individually and then we will map all to one image okay then see how we are performing for red band first for i equal to 1 colon r for j equal to 1 colon c okay first see what we are doing with the nc see nc is nothing but this is storing the carrier b turned operation with 254 see here in this step what we have done see we have first done and masking with 254 right that's what i have done here b tend okay this will perform b twice and operation r a of i j that is i am taking that corresponding red pixel of my carrier image and i am performing and the operation with 254 similarly for the message signal b tend rx that is red pixel of message signal with 128 why 128 because you can see here i have told you we have to mask with 128 this particular one and then 70 is representing 128 right and then as we require only the msp bit so we are dividing by 128 as i have told you here also that is divided by 128 and the division result add with carrier okay so division result we are adding with carrier now after performing the whole uh, loop iteration in the fr variable our red carrier red uh, pixels or red plane is basically encrypted so red steganography part is done same perform you do for the green plane that is using this same code just ga and gx that is take the green plane of the carrier and green plane of the message and perform the same encryption and same perform for blue one also right i will be posting the code in the comment section okay if you or in the description box if you want you can check that and then final step okay so what we will do we have to combine all the three planes right so cat for concatenation three red stack green stack and blue stack okay this is our uh, uh, encrypted version of the carrier signal which will transmit then in the receiver end what we are doing we are again extracting three different planes and here we will perform decryption operation okay so here i am showing the stick, uh, stick, uh, that is after encryption image okay so now in the receiver part First, I am taking the red plane and I am performing decryption operation. So, how we have to do decryption? I have shown you that. See here. Here, we have to end operation with this one. This is nothing but value 1, right? So, we are doing that only. So, here you can see B tend, red, red pixel part and with 1. Okay? And then multiply with 128 because I have told you we have to convert this LSB to MSB. Okay? So, I have done that and then... I have got my recovered version of red plane and then similarly perform the same for recovered version of green plane and perform the same for recovered version of the blue plane. Okay. And after that concatenate all and you will be having your message signal. Okay. I am show output. So title is recovered image. Let me run this part. Control A. Evaluate selection. Okay. So if I perform evaluate selection, it will take some time to run the whole code because there are lots of computations present in this particular algorithm. Okay. And you will be having a beautiful output. So this is my carrier image. This is my secret image. This is after performing the encryption. You can see there is not at all change. It can be detected in this image. Basically, we have uh, performed hiding operation of the secret image in the carrier image. But see, you cannot detect at all our what is our secret image. And then from this particular encrypted version, we are trying to recover our message signal. See, we can clearly understand. Although obviously it will not have same exactly same message signal because here we are taking only the MSB of the message signal and we are performing encryption and decryption operation. But still, we are getting sufficient information to understand what was actually our message information. The opportunity did not knock until I built it. Okay. So I hope the algorithm you have understood, very very important algorithm and I hope this particular algorithm will help you to make your project either in cryptography or in image processing course right like digital image processing or digital signal processing or digital image and video processing courses okay. So this is all for my this video, if you find this video helpful please like, share and comment, subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.